What's up, guys? Coach Larry coming at you. Um, <clears throat> got my babies with me, so you're going to hear them in the video. But it is mid to end of July in 2022. And I'm sitting there out in my garage. We're getting our workout, right, baby? And so I get text messages. I get calls. Um, people from Laird's training. And, you know, obviously uh, the Bulls people from people that I used to um, either coach or be around, have younger, younger athletes, younger, you know, brothers, whatever. They're looking like, Hey, what are the, what are, what are coaches looking at for tryouts? And most people are making that big transition, you know, to bulls or big time, you know, travel baseball, you know, right around that 15 age range. And a lot of people are doing it at 12 and 13 age range. Um, I'm going to pretty much address what people are looking for, uh, going into high school, what coaches are looking for going into high school. And I'm just going to tell you straightforward, like it's tools. And I talk about tools all the time. I talk about my tools video, um, about what college coaches are looking for thousands and thousands of views and everybody for the most part, you know, will agree with it, uh, but it's a fact whether people agree with it or not. High school coaches that are looking for elite travel teams and college coaches that are looking for guys to scout and develop and, and build their program need to have tools. So you show up at tryouts. What do you need to be able to do? Well, one, first thing is presentation. You need to look the part and you have to stand out. Um, if you look like every other guy there, it's like, I always make this joke, like, you know, every middle-aged guy uh, that asks about getting in shape, you know, he has a beer belly, cookie belly, whatever. They all look the same. Uh, you can't, you know, Bill, Tom, Joe, you know, Johnny, who knows? I don't remember their names because they all look the same. You know, it's a joke, obviously. Of course, I, I remember people's names, but, you know, if you want to stand out to people, if you want to look different to people, you have to have something while you're wearing high socks, you know, it's your swagger, how you carry yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you introduce yourself to coaches, are you leading warm ups? Um, you know, are you showing some leadership potential? Are you showing certain things that, that stand you apart from the rest of the crowd? And that, that's essentially what I'm getting at is, you know, you can't expect to be treated and, and, and play at a high level if, if you're not treating yourself as a Corvette. You're not treating yourself that you're going to be a high level. Um, and that's with everything you do, doing the small things, you know, picking people up, um, talking to coaches, asking them what you need to do, you know, cause I'm gonna tell you right now when I would, when I would run tryouts at the bulls, like kids would just be sitting on the sidelines doing nothing. We'd have to yell at them to get warmed up. But I didn't have, I may have been one year that I had a guy kind of, kind of lead some warm ups and lead some guys, but everybody's too scared. Everybody's too scared to be a leader nowadays. So one stand out, be a leader, showcase what you can do. Showcase yourself as a man. Um, uh, number two, you have, and this is essentially the last one. I mean, you have to throw hard, hit hard. So if you throw hard and have a good velocity, you know what I'm saying? If you hit the ball hard, good velocity, you're going to get it looked at immediately. There, there has to be a sound off your bat. There has to be some pop in that mitt when they're throwing off the bump or throwing across the diamond. You've got to see velo. You know, if you're throwing, if you're going into high school, you got to think about like this, like optimally you want to be throwing 90, right? 90 miles an hour as a, as a junior in the summer. That's, that's what people are looking for for projection. High 80s, right? Uh, you know, at minimum for D1 guys uh, with other pitches. So if you're looking at your increase in, you know, say you increase three to five miles a year um, to get to, uh, you know, high 80s as a junior or plus, that means as a freshman, let's say, you know, at freshman, you should be somewhere around high 70s to, to, to low 80s. Um, now, since you're going up to... Let's see here, you're, it's the year after, so you're technically 14 at that time. You know, if I'm watching a freshman, I need to see one, what I'm looking for is pretty much high 70s, right? Um, being able to repeat delivery, being able to repeat that velocity, because then I know he's gonna increase, especially if he's a little young, has some baby face on him, he's gonna increase another three to five miles an hour and he's gonna be at low 80s. And then maybe as a sophomore, he's gonna be at low to mid 80s. And then as a, as a junior, he's going to be at that, that high 80s and possibly in the 90s. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and then as a hitter, can you hit gap to gap? Like everybody and their brother can pull the ball. Like my little six-year-old girl right here can pull the baseball, right, baby? Yeah. Like everybody can pull the ball. The bottom line is can you drive the ball to all, all fields? Can you hit the ball with the same velocity to opposite field that you can to the pull side of the field? These are things that coaches are looking for. Here's the thing. If you can't hit an opposite field line driving it with a fastball and BP, how the hell are you going to hit a curveball moving away from you to opposite field? It ain't going to happen. 
And this is common sense stuff from, you know, for college and elite coaches. I'm not saying that as a parent or as a player that you should automatically know this, but this is stuff that you need to learn because you need to know what you're looking for, what they're looking for. Um, and lastly, um, you know, you need to be able to have some other tools that, that build the athlete. So those are, I would say those are two main tools, the, the two main tools, and then speed. You know, athleticism, I guess, if you want to be technical, athleticism is the number one tool. you got to be athletic and be able to showcase that you can build up. Um, but I've got to see speed on the diamond. I got to see speed running the bases. I got to see speed on the sixties. Um, and then lastly, you got to focus on being able to have some sort of a glove. Like you got to be able to move, move well. Um, you know, whether if you're playing up the middle, I need to see quick hands, quick transition. If you're a catcher, I need to see a good pop time transition to second base. If you're an outfielder, I need to be able to see you throw the ball hard, but also throw the ball in a hurry. Be able to get rid of the ball fast, throw it on a line and throw a bullet. So. In summary, guys, if, if you're trying to get recruited, you're trying to get seen for a summer baseball team, you got to have the tools. You got to stand out and you got to have those intangibles on top of those things. You got to be able to show some leadership potential and you got to be able to do those specific things. Um, anything that you can do to, to stand out on, on a tryout, do it. Laird's training, out.